All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So we're back on. This is going to be um, the Smoke versus the Northeast Yacht Club. I will survive to protect my family. I can't lose them. Currently, we're going to get that right. Let's give a quick roster for the players. Uh, for Smoke, it is Jamie's Turn Up Too Easy. Exus, Joseph, and Kai. Now, I can tell you, in the run-up to this game, uh, the run-up to this game, they have won 13-2, 13-2. So, they are, I would say, strong favorites coming into this one, considering Northeast Yacht Club, or Northeast Yorkshire, as some of you like to call them, um, went 13-12 in that last game. So, we'll see how they work out. They are the defensive side. Uh, this is a aggressive defense. Let's have a look. It's who's it I'm seeing? It's it's Kai. Oh no, okay. Kai's just going out and throwing the wall down. Josie playing raise. So we didn't have a raise in the last game, did we? Didn't have a single raise in the last game. Surprised me. A lot of people do shout about raise being OP, but uh, we didn't see too much of her. Double peak on a long. Northeast Yacht Club, they started out relatively slow, in fairness, and then started to pick up quite a few rounds. Obviously, was 6-6 six, six in the previous, uh, both halves actually, despite the fact it was 11-6 at one point, they were down and managed to pull it back. So, they've got the resilience to bring it back if they go behind, but of course, we'll see how it works out. Smoke down. Winner of this will go through versus Stream Snipers or Code 7. Great to see Code 7 in there. It's uh, Rob Wiz and Code, team that I know well from my long, long time ago. Maestro and Luna through with the opener. Bomb plant down on A site. Looking to start things off strong with a 5v2. The retake, not likely. It's Joseph that's on upper. Let's go for the peak. Can't manage to land the shots. Tries the second time. Jamie's will get one. But Cola will take him down. And that is going to be a strong start for the Northeast Yacht Club. Yeah. Uh, code 7. And Rob Wiz, I used to cast him back in 2007, 2008 in Call of Duty 4. So I can see they're, they're in there. They're up against the Stream Snipers, though. They took down Dreamers in the other matchup. As we're going through quarterfinals into the semifinals next. Uh, quarter sorry, quarterfinals next. Yeah, no, this is the quarterfinals. Yeah, no, I'm right. I'm right into the semifinals. Right, I was, I was, I was questioning myself for a moment, but uh, what a fantastic little tournament this has turned out to be. Thank you very much for uh, Fish Sticks for allowing me to cast this one. Duke GG. I hope you're watching on Duke GG. Fantastic website. You can see all the matches that are going on there. Obviously, Golden Boy casting some of the games. Josh is casting some of the games. Uh, the players are casting some of the games. So all the matches kind of covered. As well as myself. Um, I would love to have a co-caster, but uh, it's all about, obviously, for us Europeans. It's about having a North American count. Joseph with the double. That just wrecked the chances of the Northeast Yacht Club. Strong B defense there. They are in on site. Turn up too easy. Going for the little scout around with the bot. They're actually going for the wrap. Wrap around the back of B side. They're in a really awkward position here. Stuck around the backside of B side. And well, Kai finally gets spotted. So headshot down. I was trying to crouch it out, but it didn't quite work out there. Oh, and Hino's found another. It's a two on two from a four on two. Hino and Luna, they were the B combo, if you remember. One to the right hand side. Didn't see him. They're not looking. Turn up to easy coming for it. Exus did get one into one on one. Turn up to easy with the double shotty. Has he got anything else? Yes, picks up a picks up an SMG. Luna. Reveal the area. Go for it. Should be able to show him. Doesn't reveal. Yes, he does. Gets the reveal. He knows exactly where he is with the wall bank. And it will be all square. Tight, tight first. Jam Mies. It's Jamie's. Jamie. Jamie's head. Hashtag Jam. There you go. Jammy. Jammies. Jammies. 
Jammy? I mean, it could be jammy. J you know, when you have a, like a jammy shot. Yeah, maybe, because there's no jam, because it'd be an I, right? Jammies. We go with jammies. You're right. You're right. There's no I involved. I just see Joe. I just see Joseph. I'm thinking Joe Miller. Maybe Joe's, Joe's stepping it up. Ooh, who's that? Holding Exus. That is a cheeky position in A long. It's gone aggressive, and he's going to get the double peek to help him out as well. This could be very aggressive. We'll get the one. Goes for the second. Gets for the push. Should be able to get it. Hasn't got the bullets, but it doesn't matter. His teammate's there to back him up. Turn up to easy. Will get him down. And that has put the Northeast Yacht Club in tatters. It's going to be down to Cola. Who's with him? Maestro. Where's top fragging in the last matchup, but that was a very different game. And they're up against it here in a 5v2. Forty seconds. Plenty of time. No need to rush on the plant. It's going to take the time. Seeing if they can spot out anyone. Left side. One goes down. Position no. That grenade is massive. That was absolutely spot on. Smoke down. From the raise player. Him beacon down. Very well played there. In the down. This is a very nice reactive play. I really like this play. Yeah. And Jammies will indeed push it through in the end. But yeah, ja I think it was Jammies holding the angle. And uh, Joseph. Jammies and Joseph are the two players covering B side. So. Uh, I'll get my numbers right. So three and four. One, two, and five holding over there. So five is holding mid. I love the fact that the numbers change as well. It just completely screws me over. He's going for the aggressive wall again. I feel like he could, could get caught out by that wall. It's a very aggressive wall. I don't know, he kind of gets it down pretty quick. But that wall, it lasts for, is it a minute? I think it is something like that. It's a, such a long time, but it is going to get wall banged. So, is it wall banged? Is that really the phrase? When they're shooting the wall? It's not really wall banging the wall. You, you're destroying the wall. Tearing it down. Looks like, I'm assuming, the Brimstone player is Maestro again. Yes, it is. Hicks has taken down SRM. On Hino as well. I'm watching turn up too easy because I was expecting him to get pushed, but doesn't look like he's going to be the one that's in trouble. Cola and Luna. Poison's off. Luna's got to go big Toxin here. Screen down. Looking for it. Toxin screen dropped. One in the corner, spotted by the bot. That gives their position away. And now the wall bang will come out. Turn up too easy. Knows the second one is there. They're going for the double spray. He's going to try and push through, but the reload's already gone through. Finds one headshot. Goes through with a second. Can't pick up the weapon. I think he, I think he collected the weapon there. I don't think he managed to get it in time, though. Doesn't realize it. Yeah, I think he had collected it. Doesn't matter. Turn up too easy. We'll take him down. The last man standing is Maestro. On site, but location revealed. Oh, dear. Wall bang comes through from Jammies. And Smoke, I think, we're seeing why Smoke have been dominating so far this tournament. 13-2, 13-2 in their first two games. Does not look to be a fluke. They are very strong here in the opening four rounds. Straight drone checks out. Good scouting. He's going to get spotted. Sees the one there. And catches him with the ulti onto high note. They're losing players, right? They're losing players in the initial peaks. I think that's the biggest issue right now. Northeast Yacht Club, they're losing. They've just lost two players in the initial peaks. It was a one for one trade in the, the mid B, but. I'd love to know the proper names. I'm sure people, teams have come up with proper names so far, but I don't have any proper names. <laughs> it has got self-aid, dude. <laughs> I 
Well, Cola's took Kai down. That's uh, interesting. So Joseph, Joseph, the last man standing on B site. An operator in play. Coming out from Luna. Hyping average. That's, I think that's just me. I don't think you need to worry about that. Goes for the peak around the side. Cola's head goes. And while well, they haven't wall banged enough. Yeah, and I was about to say, they, they've delayed it so long. Luna tries to push out. Does get turn up down, but uh, Joseph gets the refrag. So Joseph with a couple of kills on B side. So while they did manage to break in, they just couldn't get Joseph out. Couldn't get rid of him. with this one. I think they're starting to hit a brick wall here. Strong defensive half so far. 4-1. Is this the turning point? They went full buy in that last game. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not sure they got the eco for that. Luna came rocking the operator, aka the Orm. With Kai with it now. In a upper. Prepare for hellfire! It's going to be a B push. It's going to be a B push. It's not Kylo one. It's Joseph. World. Joseph this over here not. with Jamis. Jamis popping that ulti down in window. That's just going to delay everything because there's two of them who are trying to push window. There's two of them locked up in long. They're not able to get on the side. Now they're going to try and go for the fast rotate. But, oh, the teleport comes through. Cola's, Cola's gone for the teleport. It's not Cola. Tell a lie. No, he did. Ah, right. He went for the teleport, but I think he got killed. Um, that you know, you could you could shoot the the thing that appears, right? Joke's over. Well, easy. Sees them all around the corner. That was the ult used. Joseph on the rotate as well. Gets in upper window. Jamie's coming in support. Maestro going to try and get the molly around the side. Looking towards upper. We know there's two there. Jamie's will take a trade. Joseph trying to get round, slowly comes around the corner and takes Hino down. Did get ton up to easy, but this is going to be a, a straight duel. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Joseph with the ulti, looking with the rocket fuse. Trying to find him. He's actually running out of time <laughs> with the satchel charge to the face of Maestro. Oh, my word. You thought it was going to be the rocket, but no. No, satchel charge to the face. <laughs> I mean, people talk about Ray's being OP, mainly for the rocket, but no, didn't expect that one, did it? Oh, there, there, there's a there's a comp flap going on. It's five one down, and uh, I think they're having a discussion. They're going eco. They need to try and pick some rounds up here. It's starting to look very one sided. They have got so close. They've took it down to one on ones a couple of times. So far, it's costing them. It's going to be a big push in eight. Now they've pulled back to site. Smoke's going down. They need to get the plant in early. That's what they were aiming at. Look at this wraparound. Jammies is pushing, pushing, pushing. They realize they're coming from behind, but is it going to be too late? The B team is here. Comes around the side, gets himself an easy one straight in the back now. They've got nowhere to go. They are in on long. It's just high note. And now. Gonna have to pull the ace off here. We'll get double pushed. And the wall banging will cause all sorts of problems. Down they go in slow mo. 6 1. Smoke. You know what? They're on fire. There ain't no smoke without fire. I'm telling you. Just leave that one. Leave that one to sit in there. Got no co-caster to go with me. Smoke in the competition. I like it. I like it. All right. Operator from Luna. Gonna try and go for one of those early peaks. There is someone there and lands it. It's Jammies that pushed out. Cost them. Now the bead rotate. Look how quick Smoke are to rotate already. 
Two coming across straight away. One stays there on eight. It's scouted out, has the camera out so it can cover the positions. And it's actually uh, the Brimstone player, Maestro, who got the ace, is just going to teleport through. So, got to get through. Joseph, he was holding B long. Doesn't work out. Kona gets him down. Looking like a good round, but Kai with the shot. We'll manage to get the one down. Exus delayed off there. He's trying to body hop through the ice. I'm not sure that's going to work out. Turn up too easy, but he got one down in the smoke. Did have vision, remember. And now he's going to throw the bot through. There. Exposed and turn up too easy. is just rocking right now. Luna, though, with the 4K. Missed the two at the end there. Some big plays from Luna. Finally gets the hands on the operator and finally gets himself a round. I think it'd been five unanswered rounds it had. Uh, six, sorry. Six rounds back to back uh, for the defensive side. Finally, they get them one on the board. And now they're trying to figure out. Did they just. Uh, I think he just bought for someone there, possibly, Luna. I think that was a, a buy for someone. Don't think we're going to be expecting Jamis to push. Is Joseph going to. Joseph's going to try and get the bot out. I think he's just going to line it up there. I don't think he's going to go aggressive with the bot. Let's see it. Just, 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 just the battle bot thrown out. Nades tossed out as well. It's a triple peak, Jamis. Oh, that's why they've switched position. Jamis has picked up the operator. Satchel explosion. Can't push into that! Joseph with the headshot on Luna there. That's the operator down. That was a dirty, dirty headshot. They know he's in the corner. They're going to try and pressure his position, though. They're just going to molly him, but I don't think they've got the spread in the corner. I think he's safe, yep. Safe in the corner there. That's going to slow him down, but what does it matter? They've still got to peek him. They're still going to face him. Have they got the flash? No, they're going to wall it off and then just face naked? Not sure on the thinking on that one, but Joseph will hold them off. And, yeah, there's one right at the back. Kai will come around and take him down. And now it's all on Maestro once again. Maestro's down before I even get to switch. And turn up too easy. Turn up too easy has been impressing me. And Joseph as well. It's uh, it's pretty pretty decent spread in terms of kills as well. 7-2. It's going to be an advantage no matter what for Smoke on the defensive side here. We know North East Yacht Club can be strong on the defensive side. It's where they just won the previous matchup, but they were never against it like they are here against Smoke. Will it be a stomp? We will see. Okay. Joseph once again. Is he going to go to peak here? Are they feeling really confident? That's a teleport from behind. Cola just gone for the teleport, but it doesn't matter when your team has just been obliterated on B mid. You can teleport all you like. It doesn't matter. It's not going to save you. So, Cola's ulti for naught there as Kai's picked himself up the triple so far. And now staring at the bomb carrier, Luna. With an operator, but really not a lot to play for. Maestro just covering also with an operator. So, it's a double operator on attack and the rest of his team has just been obliterated. He's gone for the rotate though. Wall down. So, that's not going to go down. You're going to have to shoot that. You can sit and time it out. As I say, that goes down. <laughs> no one peeking here, though. I can see... Luna creeping. Maestro waiting. 44 seconds. Still plenty of time. The camera's staring here, so he's going to get spotted by the camera. There we go. Location revealed. Yeah, he's going to get wall back. Oh, four turn up to easy. He's just going to get destroyed. Now, they're rotating here. Maestro's about to get Joseph peeking. Did Joseph go for the peek? Joseph didn't go for the peek. Let's go back over to Luna. Thinking of rotating. 14 seconds. This is going to be a save. So, 8-2. The rounds. Starting to look a little grim here. They need to rescue the last two rounds of this half. To really have a hope, I feel, on the defensive side. Unless they're going to pull up some mighty, mighty defense. Does manage to get Kai down, though. So Kai got a triple in that round. Kai was the one that caused all the problems on B site. Got the obliteration with the uh, the peak. Nice, uh, nice pivotal work, I think, is probably the best way to put it. 
Because they've been sitting with the two. Joseph and ja uh, and Jamie's. Jamie's, sorry. On the B side. And then Kai's been rotating. Kai's the, the, the flex player, it seems. Again, going to go mid this time. Cover off the A mid. And it looks like, actually, this is going to be an aggressive peak on A long. There's nobody there. But it gives the information. You can see the drone goes out. gives the information. There's nothing on A long. So now you can rotate someone. Have a look and peek over at B. Because you're probably going to get it. Joseph's going to be the one. He's going for the ulti out. It's only one there, though. But it doesn't matter. It's one down. Cola gets picked off. They're probably hoping for a bit more there. But didn't go for that dirty ulti out. As uh, I think that was Maestro Adam going Jordan. for the... Shot through, exactly but Kai's way. found Luna. And that's B long. Stop dead. Five on two. This is looking like a 9 2 game. Turn up to easy. Gonna go aggressive here on Maestro? Possibly. Is he gonna go for the peak? SRM's gone, so now Maestro, the last man standing. Pressured. Joseph's going to run straight into him. Got sorry, it was Jammy, sorry, that run into him. He's going to get a shot in the back. Shot in the back any second now. No. Nose is being pushed. Oh! Don't throw this one away, boys. Ain't. Smoke's down. Smoke's down. Okay, when did he smoke? He smoked onto site. He wants to get the plant on site. Open up the sky! Gonna go for the ulti on spawn as well. Ah, oh, the no scope failed him. Tried to go for the no scope. Kai though with the pistol. Kai stepping it up. Some strong plays from Kai in the last two. So operator still in his hand, and that means I think we may see a bit of force coming out here. You gotta go get what you can. Get what you can. In the final round, not not a strong performance. From Northeast Yacht Club this time around. Smoke are proving why they've gone 13 2, 13 2. Turn up too easy, I've been very impressed with. Uh, really making use of his abilities. Obviously, scouting out early, constantly being spotted. Will get took, took down there, but doesn't matter. Damage done. They've got the vision, they've got exactly what they needed, and he's going to get the ult through as well. He's looking for him. Should sure, get it, but doesn't this time around. So, okay. Smoke's down from Maestro. Maestro. Smoke's down. Slowed down, though. Second Stim smoke comes here. down. Stim Beacon down. Slow wears off. Location revealed. Going to get wall bang. The amount of wall banging that is being used here. Kai with a shot. Yeah, Maestro. And, uh, like, there's two or three dead before they can get on site, before they get a chance to do anything. The wall banging has been very, very impressive from Smoke. They have really... Uh, optimize their abilities and their vision. Luna go. Going for the push. Trying to go for the raw aim. Turn up to easy is there once again. And Kai lands the final shot of the half. 10 2. I think we can see. Are we going to see another 13 2? Are we going to see another 13 2? We will see. Because this has been very, very, very impressive on the attacking side here. It's going to be an A stack. It's all on. I, I hate the fact the numbers to completely change. So I've got to find Maestro. Maestro is the man in the middle. And he's going to smoke it off. So we'll slow it down. They might even just push you the smoke. I don't know. This might be a, a train. Can I have a look at Yeah, SRM's there. It's Cola 3. Yes, he is. Okay, so 2, 3, 4. Good stuff. Who do they think they are? Smoke's down. Oh, the nades. Oh, he's, mi he's misplayed the molly as well. He can sneak around that. Are they going to try and wallbang through it? I mean, it's not really a wallbang. There's no wall there, but they're shooting through the smoke. Hopeful is probably the best phrase. Oh, this push. It's not Luna. It's Hino. Hino, Hino around the back. <gasps> oh, bless you, babe. Good song tight. Sneezies. Maestro is pushed up. That's the last smoke. <laughs> What's up with Mitsu? Meow, meow. Hino's been left alone. 
Ooh. All those footsteps will be heard. The B rotate is on. Coming your way. Bless you, babe. Corona. I know. Oh, wow. Brimstone's push right up. He's dead. Maestro's down. That's opened up A site. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. And that's left SRM. That's... They, they had it. They had it. They just had to hold positions. They weren't aggressive. And now they're all in on site. SRM sees one. Should get the second. We'll see them. That could work out. Should see the third. Oh, he's got to get the reload. Doesn't matter. Gets covered up by Luna. And the spike will get defused. And... Uh, I mean, I think they got away with that one. I think they got away with that one. They were quick on the rotate. They needed that defensive round. That would have been game over. So 10-3, an important round, but the spike was planted, so we may see a partial bite come out here. They've got 2.2. Maybe they're going to go for a save. Yeah, no, they are going to force, maybe. No, it is going to be a full eco. Yeah, they broke the 13-2 curse, at least. It would be 13-3. Is Hino going to push? I think Hino is going to push. Just a wall. Yeah, not today, Raze. Not today. They pressured through as well. Hino, I hate this position because all you see is head. Like, you get headshots so easily. Oh my word! Oh, 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 oh! Hino and Luna going to work. Doesn't matter. Kai's still in the corner. But the damage has been done. Three on one. And they know where the last person is. Oh, and the molly comes in. That's so nice. And Maestro's gone. I mean, it was against an eco. And sure, they were only SMGs as well. But Hino's just absolutely slaughtering them in the corner there. A glimmer of hope. But now the full buy comes out. This is the test. The test will come. X is the only one yet to buy. Is not going to buy? He's just going to save. Continue yeah. to overwhelm them. I've dropped the spike. James dropping the spike down mid. Trying to get the wall bank down. That's a nice throw. Hello. Smoke it, Joseph down, Luna catches him. That's a tight smoke. Didn't. If he can hear. Ooh, smoke push down. Him. I can see that there is one up close, left of the box. Is he gonna check the corner? Yes he is, but it's too late. Kai gets him. Go for it. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? We got a glimpse of that one. That was a lined up smoke there. A lined up smoke from Jams. Keep getting his name wrong. Plan comes in. That was a lined up smoke to smoke off upper. I like that. I know gets one. I Luna gets a second. And Jammy on site. Gonna, doesn't have the ulti. Gonna drop the pop the wall down, jumps back to long. Pushes through Luna with a triple. Looking for the fourth, gets it. Kai goes down. Big plays from Luna. To save the day on the retake. I don't think there's any operators or anything to be had yet, but looking for the better weapons. 10-5. Three rounds so far. Got a long way to go still. <clears throat> Be a B push straight onto Hino and Luna. Hino just gonna wall it down, I think, again. Hopefully, it hasn't lagged out. I was just looking, it's like, it's oh, gonna slow it. Sage things, just slow it down. 
Whoa. We'll have the res in a moment as well if you can land a kill. Luna just gonna sit deep on this one. Welcome to my world. Expecting the high peak. Toxic's down. It was Luna that actually used it to slow down. The attack on B side, and it's done its job. It's done its job. One minute to go. What was going on there? That sounds like a cat jumping up on the uh, counter. I know a Luna. They're they're pretty strong on B side. They've done good work. Yeah, they've they've delayed things. They've delayed things enough that they're now pushing over to Maestro. Maestro, we won't, we won't show that one. We won't show that one. Oh dear, getting the big push. Just wall banging through the smoke. Getting caught out. But Cola's done the job. Cola wasn't observing, but has done the job. Spike's been planted though, but it's a 5 on 3 retake. Up close and personal. Maestro gonna go for the peek around the corner. Seems there's one in the corner. The wall bang will work. No, Cola down. That's come from the wall here. Doesn't expect it. Turn up too easy. Takes it down to a two on two from a five on two. And now I don't think they're going to get the retake. This is, this is almost certainly going to be the round. Yep, they won't be able to get the retake. SRM will get the kill. Should get the second. No, Kai will get that. Hino's going to try and stick it. Kai will come around. Uh, Kai. Kai. There we go. Kai does get the clutch and the bomb will go off. 11-5. First round on the attacking side. And now it is going to be a struggle, honestly, economy-wise, for the defensive side. Is this going to be pistols? I think it might be. Maestro and Luna. No armor for Maestro. Is he going to force, force buy? You can't really afford an eco. They, I feel like they got to force it. The rest of the team have forced it. Okay, scout time. I can't remember what it's called in this. Operator's the sniper. Oh dear. Well, high note. High note holding the angle. Turn up Tweezy. He's got Luna around the side, so Heino's going to have to back the F up. Good teleport from Kola. Ulti worked. Got a one-on-one -on -one trade. That's the best he could hope for in that position. We'll get Exus down. Three on four. Still hasn't got the spike down. So I know he's got a chance to throw a wall down. Does get spotted out. That's the ulti shots coming through. But it's going to be a quick rotate over. Maestro about to get pressured from A long. Oh, the molly. The molly should hold him down. Doesn't manage to land that shot though. Obviously with the scout. Maybe he did land it. I'm not too sure. But either way, the molly has done the job. And slowed them down. Enough for the retake. Maestro comes and gets one down. Jammy's down in the smoke there. In the fire. SRM. And that's such a good, good setup now. Oh, but he's not checking the corner. Kai with the operator. Joseph has the rocket ready. And that's going to be an easy one onto Maestro. Kai gets the kill on Hino. And what was looking like a really good setup on the defense there was quickly shut down by an operator and a rocket. And now, well, match point. They're forcing everything. This is looking like a 13 5. The Kai God has been performing. 20 kills so far. Going for that long, it's another B setup. Joke's over! You're dead! And he reveals. I think. Yeah, turn up too easy is used the utility so well. That smoke down, but... He's just going to push through it. Is he going to push through it? It's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> stuck against it. Can just heal himself up. Bit of a waste of the ability, maybe. Could have probably just delayed on that one. Stacking up. It's going to be on... I think it's Luna that's in the corner here. It is Luna. Oh, no. Oh, didn't have to land it. Oh! We'll get that one. Sees the spike. Call will go out. They know there's one in the corner there. Maybe even get a peek on the on the door there. No, they're all going to push teleport. 
But the spike is still loose. The spike is still there. So, Maestro again with the scout. They forced it. So, but they've got the spike. I know. Goes around the side. Gets Exus down. And what was looking like grim reality turned into a, a glimmer of hope. As turn up to easy gets one. Maestro smokes it off. SRM finds him on the edge of the smoke. And now the last man standing is Kai. He's going to go save the operator. It ain't over yet. Now remember they went six rounds. 11-6 was the score. They went six rounds without reply on the defense. They're going to have to do the same once again. Yet. We're actually going to have to go seven rounds. One better. It is going to have to be a mighty, mighty defensive setup. Luna lands there. Headshot. Warbang. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? To take that operator away. I mean, it's not going to hurt his economy that much because he's already got 8.8k anyway, but... Taking that 4.5k weapon away is always crucial with the dying seconds as well of the round. So, they were on death's door. They still are. It's still match point. Let's not forget that. Maestro... Gonna have to hold Smoke it off. Down. He's got the molly available as well. That's where he got, got himself the ace last time. The molly goes down. That's gonna slow things down. Kai sees the push down. The recon bolt's down here. as well. No Hasn't way. got the ulti available. Nades come through. He's gonna get sniped out here by the bolts. Nothing can do. Turn up too easy with the ulti. Will push on through. And now they have a mid control. But they don't have sight covered off. There's two in upper. Hino gets the revive back off on SRM. Kai trying to cover off the back. But Cola's in position. Still at A long, waiting for the ulti to go down. He's just going to try and spam it out as much as he can. And now they're in trouble. The spike almost certainly will go down. Joseph's been picked off somewhere in there. Kola doesn't want to pressure it. Spike plant comes in. Exus holding the back. SRM up high. They have full control of up. But there's no way they can do it. They have to go through the smoke. They will. Hello. Hello. I know exactly where you just pushes through and then finally comes out the other side. But I think they've run out of time here. Now the 2-1-1. One, one. Luna will get one on Kai. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's got just about enough time to make it. Lands it. Can he get the defuse? I think he can. And they will hang on for another round. Luna with another clutch performance. Keeping them in the game. The Northeast Yacht Club live to fight another day. Oh my word, Luna going big in this game. 23 frags and counting. So, back to the drawing board. And I think maybe an eco coming out here from Smoke. Yeah, and double operator. Double operator, so big investment. I mean, why not, right? Every every round's your last round for the Northeast Yacht Club here. It is going to be a B push. I know, and Luna. Welcome to my world. Elon covered off. I know. Uh, sorry, Luna pops the ulti already. That's an early ulti. I feel felt a little pressured, just enough to delay though. And that's going to maybe pull them over into Maestro's oh, territory. Smoke down, Molly ready. Sees the wall bang. We'll go for the Molly, I think. Yep, based off that wall bang. Tries to get the uh, wall bang of his own. And look at that. Sees the triple shots coming through. May even just go for it. Yeah, as I say, pop that down. We'll get the rapid fire off from the combat stim. He knows they're all here. They've got one smoke to go. They're going to push through it. They're pushing through. They're on. SRM from upper. Manages to find one through the smoke. Cola up close. Maestro has been taken down, so they pushed on through. Cola looking to see exactly where they are. They're still all on site. They're really tucked in as well. Feeling the rotate coming. SRM has dropped down. Hino up close. Are you serious? That's yeah. No, that's just I don't I don't know really. I, I don't. I don't agree with that play up close. When you've got this many guns on site, I feel that may well cost them, and it will. 13-7, the score. Smoke will take down the Northeast Yacht Club. 
And a sloppy retake in the final round is what's cost them, but really the 10-2 first half. I think it was a 10-2 or 9-3. No, it was 10-2, I think, the first half, right? That's that's the big kicker. That was the kicker. The 10-2 first half was mega. And ironically, it was the pistol like they won. And then, oh, it cost them. Smoke taken down 13-7. And Jojo, thanks for game? the sub. Laughing face. <laughs> Four months in a row. Cheers for the sub at the end there. We're moving on to the semi-finals next. We'll see who Smoke are playing. Will it be Code 7? Or who's the opposition? I think it was Code 7 versus Stream Snipers was the uh, the next match that was going on in the other quarterfinals. We'll see exactly who will take it. I'll stick with Smoke and see where we go in the semi-finals. I'll see you in a few.